Welcome back YouTube for another market analysis for the London session. Today we'll be going over some levels for S&P 500 and also gold. So let's go ahead and get into it. Take a look at some of these levels we'll be trying to trade if we are around that during the London session. So on this 10 tick here for S&P 500, you guys can see we do have we did have a good amount of bullishness during the US session. Uh, pulled up to our levels targeting somewhere right around those uh, 70s, 71s, market pulled up almost close to around those 80s, popped right around the 79s. So it was a good opportunity from there, kind of fell off. And then we made our way back down to the support right around these 26s. And then we moved right back up. So we are at a wall of resistance right now. And what we're going to be looking for is how the market reacts. Right now, still bullish. You can see holding some support. I do have a minor level though looking for the market to pull back into this level of 56.75 and then from there see if we get a bounce now if it doesn't do that then we are going to look to see if we can get a move up through this level and then a reaction on its way back down for a continuation of move to the upside All right so that's what we're going to be looking for on our long opportunity now for our short opportunity we'll still have to be under this level of right around these 79 to 78s if we test this level again and we continue to fail, it's going to be a good opportunity to pull it right back into these 60s and then see how the market reacts. Now, if we get to these 60s and we blow right through it, we'll be looking for that downside target of about 20 to 26 right here at this very bottom. From here, we'll be looking for that support bounce. It can even break through the level, come back up, looking for that two try failure then come and retest the area on the upside. So we'll be looking for that. Now, if we want a sentiment change, we are going to be looking underneath those 26s for an opportunity for a continuation lower. So break below it, retest the area, and then continue our, our trade down below. Obviously, somewhere right around here would be our target of 3,300. Um, there is a slight earlier one, somewhere right around these 13s. So we could be looking at these two different levels if we do get underneath that price of the 26 so we'll see what happens on the S&P 500 for that let's take a look at also a five tick so we could see what's going on on the smaller chart here let me see if I can pull it over to the correct area okay so let's go ahead and hide some of these studies here just so we could see a clear chart so yes we are getting resistance we did have a failure here another time there a third time and then a fourth time so we are still looking slightly bullish though looks like we're going to be trying to pull right back up into that 78 to 79 area and then see if we can get the resistance now again if we do get that resistance again we'll be looking for that downside move from here back down into those 60s um, if we if we do let me see here if we do get underneath these 60s Again, we'll be sliding down into our next level of right around those 26s. Uh, again, we do have that minor level, so very important for us to be looking at that. Um, underneath that level of 60, there may be a mid value area trade if we get an opportunity for a continuation lower. So we'll be looking for that. But again, once we get down to those 26s, we'll be looking for an upside move unless we get below 26 then we'll be looking for the sentiment to change to come back down. Now let's take a look at gold here real quickly. Did have a very nice trade. I'll be posting it on YouTube after for the small account challenge here, but had a nice trade, three contracts short for 1.5 each on this gold trade. Now we did have a move down, pop right back up, could not hold the resistance here. And you could see this bullish move just kind of pull that price right back up there. And this is where we were looking for an opportunity to short back down. Reason being is because we had a far pull up and we were looking for price to come right back into this impulse here. Now this is our last chance level here. If we slip below that, we're going to come right down into these 35s and maybe even continue to collapse below that into the 20s. Which So we got to see if we hold that structured support. If we do hold that structured support, we're going to be heading to the upside right back against that 50s. And then if we get above that, we will be looking somewhere right around these 60s for that market to target. Now we did have a target level of 57 this morning, good opportunities off of gold. We did touch that level, but if we do get above these 50s here, 
again we'll be targeting those 60s on the upside so got to be patient here kind of sitting right in the middle now um, but it was a good opportunity to short so we'll be looking on top of the price here for support for a continuation of move below the price here for resistance for a continuation of a bearish move and then right down here kind of well actually right down here is where we're looking for a minor level of support for a continuation of move here so that's where we're currently at going to see how the market wants to react off this level and then play it from there let's take a look at a five tick here real quick so we can see what's going on in this market on a smaller chart so we did have a good opportunity you guys will see did have one two three four five six different attempts at this level after we couldn't hold the support over here all right so we did have that analyzed move to come down we're below a clear structure level finding that resistance and just kind of moved it down from there i was targeting those 43s we actually dropped a lot lower somewhere right into these 39s and then now we're looking for that pull back up to see how the market reacts off these levels so right now it could still be a bullish move however being that we collapse below the 40s it could start to turn on us and come right back down um, the market altogether is pretty bearish for gold so don't want to be trying to go long for too long but we do want to be able to understand when the structure changes sentiment so we can be going long on the right times and then short at the right times other than that that's the levels we're going to be playing off of for s p 500 and gold for tonight during the london session hope you guys like these videos if you guys did please go ahead and smash that like button if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet please go ahead and subscribe if you guys are Thank you all for watching these videos. If you have any questions, any comments, please go ahead and leave them there on the YouTube channel. Or you can contact me here at Trade Pro Academy, uh, David at Trade Pro Academy. Um, if I do see you guys in the London session, we will chat there if you guys have any questions. If not, you guys all take care. Have a great night.